Roy, what does it mean when a calibration is out of tolerance? Out of tolerance means that it's outside of the values that you've predefined as being okay. And who sets those predefined values? Ideally, that's going to be the process engineer, but in the real world, what I found is that not necessarily those numbers come down from engineering to the actual technicians who do the work. Okay, so whether or not it's the process engineer defining those values or the technicians doing the work, uh, what criteria are they using to determine what value to use? So you're starting off with criticality. How important is this instrument and how far can it be off and your product is still okay? Number two would be safety. We want to make sure that the process is safe. Maybe you have a vessel that's in the process and you don't want that vessel to hit the rupture pressure because otherwise it's going to, well, it's going to go. And then quality. The quality of your product is important, but also the quality of your reputation is at stake. Absolutely. Maybe you can give us an example where a critical instrument has a predefined value and talk about why that's important. All right. So to start off, I would pick an example that I would find interesting. And one of those, it would be an airplane wing. So I'm, I'm kind of into airplanes and there are some modern airplanes that use carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is a, it's kind of a miraculous product and you have these fibers that you can connect them like this and that gives you flexibility, but you can also weave them together like this, and that makes it structurally more rigid. Mm -hmm. And with, with airplane wings, if you actually heat up the carbon fiber, it, it changes the qualities of the carbon fiber. It makes the carbon fiber stronger. Okay, so let's say you set a value that a you can raise the temperature to within plus or minus three degrees of the set value. Okay. And as long as you stay within that tolerance, you get the structural integrity you're looking for. Exactly. So, so from an, another standpoint, uh, you might have raised your temperature to the set value and your measurement is reading that it is within that plus three or minus three degrees. But in actuality, it's actually measuring plus or five seven degrees, that, that instrument is out of tolerance or is inaccurate. So that's correct. If we're within our fictitious plus or minus three degrees, then we still have proper structural integrity. But if we're outside of that, maybe we go, we're reading five degrees higher or seven. Once we cross this threshold, the product becomes more brittle and then we have floppy wings. They don't make pills for that. 